This thing is crazy. Hey everybody, welcome to Art in Design. My name is Torkir. If you haven't been living under a rock these past few months, you've probably seen some of these images floating around the internet. All of them generated by AI. Insane details. But did you know that you can actually do this with vector art? Well, welcome to ReCraft. ReCraft is a vector-based AI tool that allows you to prompt it and it generates SVGs for you instead of creating, you know, just these pixel images. So what you're going to be able to do with that is stuff like this vector art that is infinitely detailed because it's all based on vectors so you can scale them up infinitely. Now all you need to do in order to get this to work is simply go here, click this button and that's pretty much it. And then you create a new project and now you can start prompting it. So let me just take you briefly through the interface. Let's just do vector art and let's pick the type of art that we want to generate. So what should we make? Mm, let's, let's do a logo for Mona Lisa. A logo for the Mona Lisa. This, by the way, isn't Mona Lisa. It's my wife, but that's another story for a different time. Logo for Mona Lisa. Yeah, let's just do logo for Mona Lisa. Let's see what happens. Whoa. Holy smokes, what? Now you can pick from the two results at the bottom here. Wow, these are really good. But if I zoom into it, you can see this is indeed vector art. And if I export this like so, you can see it's going to export it as SVG. So what that means is you can actually use this as your logo. There are subtle differences between this and a professionally created logo that you can spot once you zoom really deeply in. So as you can see right here, it generated this weird shape right here. And that's something that a professional designer would probably not do. They'd probably have this as a single cohesive shape, but as a first draft that took like 10 seconds, that's not bad. And what's even better about this is we can actually go and let's give her a necklace, a diamond necklace. So just pick the region and then told it what to do and think about how much time this is saving you. If you want to make a cartoon, let's do a robot, humanoid robot eating a burger. Whoa, okay, that's really good. You see the burger? Wow, you even added the dots on the top. You see the letters? There's no meat, but I mean, I don't know if robots eat meat. And let me just show you what happens if we export this. So we can export it as PNG, JPEG, or SVG. Let's do SVG and export. Let's just open up Figma. And let's just go to the desktop, humanoid robot. We add it in. And now, as you can see, we can access each individual vector path directly. Actually, each individual shape here is a separate shape. It has all of these different layers, but you know, there's a lot of layers here and a professional would not create a, like this layer right here, which has the same color as this. Like that would, that would probably not happen. It does seem to look like a shadow, but I mean, what is this? Why does this shadow need to be like this? I mean, just delete that right away. But I mean, this is a great start. So ladies and gentlemen, the future is absolutely here. Recraft, it's super simple to use. And right now it's free. Probably gonna cost a few dollars in the future, but right now I highly recommend check this out. And if you wanna see more videos about art and design or AI or 3D, then do click that subscribe button and like this video if you wanna see more stuff like this in the future. Anyways, I wanna thank you all very much for watching. Take care.